And welcome into the straight idea section inside of Block Revision channel. Uh, it's a series inside of which we're jumping through the possibly best um, ideas of the trades regarding uh, technicals and fundamentals among crypto stocks and commodities. So stay tuned for another dose of interesting news. So today I'd like to um, present you a possibility of a um, grabbing some decent percentage of gain on LTO into Tether US um, cryptocurrency, uh, crypt cryptocurrency pair. Uh, so um, LTO, what is really um, in the blockchain? LTO network is, uh, as you can find, it's a hybrid blockchain for securing, verifying and exchanging business critical information, where uh, we might find uh, Rick Schmitz, that is a uh, one of the representative um, in LTO network, has described LTO network as um, the mm, platform to secure and verify the integrity of data and identities. And so we have uh, some something uh, here mm, um, that is linked to storing fragile data on a blockchain and also exchanging um, those data between. Um, businesses in a peer-to-peer -peer manner. Now, also, we have uh, recently found that um, LTO Network and his Firion partner um, has trialed for world's first application of blockchain technology to COVID-19 clinical trials. So LTO Network is trying to uh, put on uh, the blockchain some uh, also innovative uh, data that uh, will be stored forever on a uh, quite decentralized and also unchanged in time uh, data base. So uh, LTO Network is trying to achieve something that lots of companies are struggling, uh, struggling right now uh, with. Uh, it's a uh, preserving uh, a data on decentralized uh, structures where uh, you don't have um, any chance to change it upon a time. We can find that uh, LTO Network have recently activated a Cobalt upgrade that also bring us um, something as decentralized identifiers and the verifiable credentials and other uh, features. So LTO Network uh, develops um, very uh, quickly and trying to respond to uh, some uh, demand regarding um, really demanding a serve safe uh, data base for storing uh, mm, for example um, uh, COVID-19 certificates. So let's have a look at other data of LTO and LTO gets more interest from cryptocurrency exchanges of recent and uh, we can find that uh, it has been listed on uh, Qcoin uh, on October of 29. Um, from other important uh, things, uh, I would like to jump right now to a little bit, a little bit deeper into fundamentals. Uh, right now, we could find that uh, LTO network on socials. Look at this stunning growth now, on Twitter. It has jumped um, and um, very, very um, abruptly. Uh, so we can find that uh, the interest on uh, LTO network uh, right now is surging um, and also on um, Reddit we have found that um, during uh, April we've seen a massive uh, interest in this chain. In terms of circuit supply we can find that one fourth of the whole um, tokens uh, still need to be issued but um, the pace of um, issuance is not uh, very quick so uh, I wouldn't be so worry about um, a possible um, mm, uh, supply uh, supply um, shock regarding uh, this this uh, one thing. On the other hand, I would qualify LTO network as one of the blockchains that um, represent one of these enterprise solutions uh, tokens in the sector. Uh, so uh, LTO network is one of those that. Uh, um, right now is behind such uh, blockchains as uh, Loom Network, Syscoin and even Stratis that uh, have recently haven't brought 
uh, nothing haven't brought nothing special uh, to um, to uh, crypto ecosystem as uh, i would find that lto network may still due to those facts may be undervalued and um, these are one of the ratings uh, presented by token insight uh, that qualify lto network um, um, on a better position than um, mentioned by me uh, syscoin and other uh, coins uh, from uh, its sector so um, I do find that uh, the ne network might surprise us to upside and um, definitely uh, next uh, months might be good to its chain especially that we have some events still um, ahead of this LTO network uh, as public certificates that will allow organizations, organizations to publish uh, certificates on-chain and identity workflows that will give individuals full control over their personal data. And right here we can find that um, uh, LTO network by um, its network activity is ranked inside of the best 20 blockchains among all crypto ecosystems um, and cooperating uh, with such uh, entities as captions send requests and uh, scan trust to name a few um, uh, that uh, for instance uh, are verifying um, using a digital signatures and um, so on so um, in terms of technicals let's have a look at um, the latest part of today's episode so LTO network uh, is right now very stable. We may even uh, claim it um, to be in a, a stable coin, but uh, we are just going through a very uh, positive in sentiment, uh, positive period for crypto space. We could find recently lots of crypto tokens being pumped, being uh, surging uh, 100 or even more percent but LTO is still one that haven't been spotted yet so we've recently seen that um, LTO token has risen uh, up to 0.9 uh, dollars and uh, after this very abrupt slump uh, we can find that um, it has found possibly a floor a floor for now as uh, there were uh, some trials of a breakout trials to the uh, downside and a recent recent uh, trial of a uh, slump, slump hasn't also succeeded so we may find that the bulls may take control over LTO network I do find uh, LTO uh, as uh, one of the um, possible hidden gems uh, that may jump in price uh, very suddenly so um, if I'd like to make a um, trade um, uh, I would set my trading bot right at the levels of uh, now with a target to at least those recent highs of February those are also um, the highs of uh, August and September so if I like to make a horizontal line it will be something like this in terms of uh, stop loss I would set it right right below recent week of a candle that has been um, made on 29th of October and I do find um, that LTO may also uh, take advantage of um, the recent uh, local um, altcoin uh, season so LT LTO may be pumped at least into um, 0.38 um, level and even uh, when those levels will be held out um, there to risk and hold the position up to at least 0.5 uh, 
uh, dollars. So um, in terms of trading uh, area, when I do find my proposition still being valid, I would enter um, anywhere, I would enter LTO anywhere between 0.26 and 0.20. Uh, 9 or even 0.3 so um, okay so that's it for today's uh, episode to remember about risk management about uh, setting stop losses or at least alarms when your trade is not going uh, when uh, you where you have assumed and that's it for today's episode thank you very much for watching um, if you have any questions just put it in the comment section below the video um, and remember about um, subscribing to uh, my channel if you found uh, my content valuable. See you in the next episode.